doing today? It's John here. Um, hope you guys are ready for a new thought and opinion videos to I'm probably gonna, I'm actually gonna do show you guys three trailers to two game switch games coming up in the fu near future and one mo one one movie coming out next year so one movie trailer coming out next year so so the first to so the three I'm gonna do is Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic or Tokyo Games I think it's the Japan one I think or in Tokyo um, second one is a new Pokemon game for the Nintendo Switch. I think it's coming out either the end of this year or next year. And the movie I'm going to do is the new Mulan movie that's coming out next year. The real life action one. Um, so let's get started. Um, type it out. I'm kind of slow at doing the typing with the controller and holding my phone. Will be Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. Um, where is it? There we go. It's not nighttime yet. It's still kind of daylight. It's evening. I get yeah evening. Looks more HD. Okay, now that was the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games in Tokyo for 2020. Um, so, my thoughts and opinions. Um, oh, lights more in my face. All right. uh, my thoughts and opinions for the game. I like how the HD graphics look. I think it looked better because the last... Mario and Sonic game I played was, I think, the Winter Olympics game. Wait, no, no. <clears throat> well, that was my first one. I, I wasn't really that into those types of games, but Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympics games, I forget which year, probably 2010 or 2011. It was on the Wii, but I played that one. That one was a really good game. Um, I know that it didn't look maybe that HD like it does in this, especially nowadays, but... I also played the 3DS one. That was that 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 was the one that had the storyline, and I think this one has a storyline as well. Um, and I love how these types of games have storylines, like make it more entertaining. Um, I think the uh, Mario Tennis uh, Aces on the Switch. That I think that had a storyline too. 
But I like how they're making these games, the, like the sports games for Mario and all that. These Mario sports games have storylines. It's pretty cool um, how they're changing it up like that. Um, make it more interesting, entertaining. Um, but just having it as like them playing sports and that's it. It's pretty cool how they have like a story to the game. Like a follow up. Out, like the main theme of the game uh, it's pretty I think it's pretty interesting to me um, I love how they're they make the graphics look so bright in HD and the colors to the character more good they have a lot of these games nowadays like more HD um, which that's what I love seeing in these games is HD quality, so those are my opinion. That's my opinion and thoughts to the Mario and Sonic game. Um, next game will be the Pokemon one for the Switch that's coming out either end of this year or next year, so clear. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, turn it up a notch. I won't turn up too loud because I got my roommates upstairs. I think this is my first time really seeing this trailer too, so... Hmm. Pretty, pretty good.
November 15, 2020, 2019. Getting ahead of myself. Wow. Dang, man, that is... Okay, so... My thoughts of this, that game, that Pokemon game... I mean, I think my... One of my top ten favorite Pokemon game will be <clears throat> Pokemon Stadium on the N64. That will always be my first favorite Pokemon game. Of course, this will never replace it, but... To be honest, this... Pokemon, the Pokemon Sword and Shield, the trailer to that looked like, wow, like, like, I love, like, I love how they, they show, like, the Pokemon, that water Pokemon, I think it was, like, giant or something, and it's like the Pokeball, that big giant Pokeball shrunk it, made it small, um, boss battle like I mean, it's like in the beginning of the trailer it looked like Pokemon Stadium in a way but it looks like there's more in this game because <clears throat> the ending and that one guy that one character in, it towards the end, in the battlefield like I don't know, maybe he's one of the villains I'm not sure but that game wow because I think that was, that was pretty I don't think I've ever seen the trailer of that. Like, wow. Because the last Pokemon game on the Switch came out last year. Yeah, last year I think was Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. I never played it, but I heard it's alright. Um, my opinions about this game, it looks pretty sick to me. Graphics are good. I'm like, wow. The sound effects, music. To the trailer, it's like wow. I'm gonna have to try that game out when it comes out. I don't have a Switch, my brother does, so I will definitely talk him into getting it. So, those are my thoughts of that. Last up is Mulan, the real life action thriller. Thirteen minutes. It's like the longest video I've ever made so far. Bear with me, guys. Here we go. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, right here. It's only one minute. I'm gonna wrap it up after I make this. Show you guys this trailer. So here we go. Spring 2020. Okay, that was Mulan. Alright, to give you a heads up, the trailer looks good, in my opinion. But one of my friends told me, because I kind of thought it was going to be like the Disney movie, the cartoon. And I told you, 
it is getting annoying how they keep remaking the old Disney movies, the cartoon ones, and the real life movies. It's like, come up with the come. They should come up with new Disney movies, but at the same time, it is cool how they're making them in real life. But we've all seen them when we were kids. But but one of my friends told me that it's not gonna be just to give you guys a heads up. It's not gonna be the funny type movie like in the cartoon. It's supposed to be like an action, real life action movie. Like seriousness in the movie, like not like funny business. Um, that's what I. That's what he. That's what one of my friends told me. Cause I thought it was gonna be like the Disney movie, like the cartoon version. But. <clears throat> the trailer looks good. Um, I look forward to seeing it. Um, I don't know if they have different characters, different people from the cartoon and the movie. Um, this is probably going to be a different version than all the other Disney remakes, maybe. I'm not sure, but it looks pretty good. Um... I'm going to definitely see it when it comes out next year. Um, but yeah, those are the three trailers that I'll show you guys today. But um, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Um, don't, for, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell for notifications. Please subscribe. I need more subscribers. I'm slowly growing, slowly. Hopefully I can get better once I get a camcorder. Um, Hopefully for my birthday next month, um, but, or I can just get a new phone with better quality, um, but yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Peace out, guys.